Next on is the wonderful, the amazing and the incredible Resh Sadhu. Uh, she's uh, Executive Creative Director of Barbarian, and she's going to be talking about raising the bar with courageous innovation, which I really do. I'm looking forward to this. It'll be a good one. Hi. Hi there. I hope everybody can hear me. And um, it's really great to be piped into uh, my hometown, London. Um, I am Rush Sidhu. I am Executive Creative Director of We Are Barbarian. I am a mom of two, and I've been um, in the digital space for over 20 years now. I'm going to be talking about raising the bar with courageous innovation because really right now there's never been a better time to break the rules with some unconventional thinking and really challenge our teams and our agencies and the way we're working. So let's get stuck into that. You know, consumer behavior is changing so fast right now, faster than I think it's ever been before. And that's because people have such an abundance of choice. You know, your brand and your brand's products are no longer enough to distinguish. So it's created a situation where people are finding a deeper and more meaningful connection with brands that share the same beliefs of them, not just those who offer good products. And so that means that successful brands and companies are the ones that are embracing change and not the ones that are defending themselves from it. It's really interesting and it's worth remembering that 88% of Fortune 500 brands from 1955 are no longer in business today. And when you unpack that, it's like why are some brands succeeding where others are failing? especially in the midst of what's happening right now. For years, Blockbuster dominated the video rental space, but at some point, they lost sight of what business they were really in. And as we all know, technologies change, new mediums come into play. And instead of investing their efforts in finding new ways to deliver on their purpose, Blockbuster's innovation stagnated. And I feel like that's what's happening to agencies right now. It's stale and it's stagnant and we're collecting dust. And if we don't change quick enough, then the inevitable will happen. When Blockbuster didn't adapt quickly, that's when Netflix scooped in. There's no secret source to their magic. Their secret source is they truly understand who their consumers are and they adapted when the market changed. As technologies improve and industries change, in order to grow, you need to keep your pulse on your ever evolving needs of your customers. And you have to pivot and make changes and not be afraid and resistant to that change. When change is not happening, then you have the same doom and failed future as Blockbuster. The customer-driven approach always wins. And Netflix is just one of a few examples of brands that have continued to reinvent who they are and really focus on their purpose because they truly understand their audience. And for me, at agencies, brands are our customers. Do we truly understand their needs? Are we adapting fast enough? They want partners who can understand the change in consumer behavior. Consumers are sif sniffing out the BS from brands and fake advertising quicker than you can ever imagine. So they need partners who can help them build meaningful connections. And if your agency doesn't reflect the state of the world and your creative teams and your strategist and your, you know, your, your uh, heads of deliveries do not look like what the world looks like right now, then the work is not going to be as challenging or as innovative as it could be. The spread of COVID has totally, you know, upended some brands and agencies alike. It's leaving us to question what's next. It's leaving us to challenge what is the future of work look like? If anyone said to me eight months ago that the whole of our business and industry would be working from home, we would have laughed in their face. And look what's happening right now. And that has opened up to opened us up to new ways of working. It's challenged the old. And that becomes really exciting. 
But like Blockbuster, the work is becoming stagnant. It's stale. Why is that happening? Some are, some agencies are in danger of becoming completely obsolete. No one wants to work there. People are leaving in droves. You know, brands that failed and put out tone deaf ads during the pandemic got called out for it. And the irony of Blockbuster was it failed because its leadership didn't adapt. And agencies will fail if leadership doesn't adapt. If brands do not demand that their agencies really question the makeup and structure of their creative teams because it impacts the work and because everything is looking the same and sounding the same. You know, we're at an inflection point by not evolving quick enough and lack of diversity in our teams. I find some agencies are full of dinosaurs. They're resistant to change. There's inefficiencies. Sometimes there's huge costs and they're so slow to react. And no matter how many times you have heroes within those agencies trying to change, you're almost swimming against the tide. There's a lack of respect for that evolving consumer behavior. And there's a real lack of respect for our consumer needs and our consumers are our brands. Are we just adding more noise and pollution to a world that doesn't need it? Or are we creating real human connections and authentic content? Our industry needs less talk and more action. That's what this talk is about. Hundreds and hundreds of black advertising professionals recently signed an open letter demanding urgent action, action from agency leadership. Why did we even need to do this? That letter was so powerful and compelling. Dear leadership of all agencies, we the people of color, we the minorities, we women, we men, we've been telling you for a while, things need to change, not just around systemic racism afflicting our industry, but the lack of opportunity, the, di the, the biased, We've been talking about it for years. When are you actually going to do something about it? Uh, inclu including our very own CTO, Lamar Hines, was part of the signature of those Black advertising professionals that are demanding change. And more of us need to speak up and demand it more. And more of us who are in a position of leadership and have been lucky enough to get to this pivotal point in our careers need to speak up. Earlier this year, WPP pledged to track the progression of underrepresented groups and publish uh, racial diversity data. You know, I applaud them for doing that. They said they were gonna invest 30 million over three years to combat racism. So I'm gonna call you WPPP. I wanna see what that 30 million buys us. Is it changing or is it just words? And it's not just WPPP, it's every network out there. It's every agency out there. We're responsible now for stopping the BS and doing something about it. We need courageous change and continuous innovation, not in the advertising work that we're putting out there, not just that, but in the way we look at our own teams. And there have been amazing creative female leaders out there, and these are just some of a few of them that have been talking about this for years. We don't need to reinvent the wheel, we just need to stand on the shoulder of some of these giants that have already established ways to change, that already have initiatives and founded their own companies to make sure that our workplace is diverse, inclusive, because when it is diverse and inclusive, it's incredible the type of disruptive ideas that we can create. So I feel like every creative must become an agent of change or, they have, or they're facing extinction. That means we have to challenge the status quo, do things differently, be part of talks like this. Don't be afraid to call out the BS. Look at your leadership team. If it's not changing, encourage them to change. Just because it's been done that way before does not mean it's right. I really believe that with unconventional thinking and diversity are the lifeblood of great ideas. Otherwise, we are just doomed like Blockbuster, to be shitting, sitting on the shelf collecting dust. And hey, it's not easy to do. Great work comes from persistence, ingenuity, spirit, courage, and bravery. And we need to make sure that we allow for those ideas to flourish. Convenience is essentially mediocrity. And we cannot allow mediocrity to creep into our agencies and creep into our industry. 
We must challenge the status quo. We've got to shake it up and we've got to reimagine our industry. And, you know, you never change things by fighting the existing reality. This isn't about them and us. This isn't about fighting. This is about changing to build a completely new model. And if not now, when? We never fathomed we would be working in this way. We are questioning the very f- makeup of our agencies, of ourselves and our lives. So if not now, when? Agencies are making bold promises. They have been for many years about greater diversity. But question now, is anything changing? With women and minorities still underrepresented underrepresented in leadership position, companies have been announcing initiatives, but I'm yet to see some real change. You need to work harder. Agencies need to work harder be, to be truly representative of society at large. Because when we are, the work is greater. A huge shout out to Ben Tennant, who was offered the DNA uh, president's role, but decided to step down. He said he wanted to make room for more diverse hire. He said too many middle-aged white men hold a position like this one, so I want to make room for something else. That is what we need to see. Give space and room for other voices to shine and other voices to be heard. Give them the same opportunities as our male counterparts. Examine our own bias. And when we're creating spaces and voices to be heard, we're allowing for change and innovation. When people and their different points of views come together, as I said, you know, we can create ideas that we could not have fathomed. And we move the industry forward. We move our brands forward. We move the world forward. It's about really ensuring that our teams have a mixture of diverse perspectives, diverse mindsets, and that multiple ideas are coming to the table. Companies you know, are discovering that supporting and promoting diverse and inclusive workplace is gaining them benefit. It's not rocket science. The you know, increased profitability, creativity, stronger governance, better problem solving abilities. I could go on. You don't need more reasons to say why this is right. And we shouldn't have to keep defending it. Brands are the way that we can demand change. Brands should demand that their agencies are representative of the makeup of society at large. Shake things up, hire different people, support women and minorities, empower men to be allies and rethink our work culture. We've got to celebrate your differences and advocate for one another. And when you do this and don't tolerate the bullshit, don't allow room for egos and, you know, being stuck in your same ways. Call it out and kick it out. And only then can I think we can truly raise the creative bar and create the type of ideas that help brands imagine what's next. One of my favorite quotes from Cindy Gallup, you cannot do new world order marketing from an old world order place. If businesses want to become more innovative and raise the creative bar, hire more women, hire more people of color, support them, encourage them. I'm tired of waiting for things to change, for voices to be heard and dinosaurs to make room. I joined Barbarian to break those rules and create the future faster. It's working. We're creating groundbreaking work, disruptive ideas, and more importantly, with the most diverse and inclusive team I've ever worked with. It's never been a better time to break those rules and allow for unconventional thinking, allow for different people and their points of views to converge, stand up and be heard. We are all called to be architects of our future, not as victims. And in a time of infinite noise and finite customer attention, we have to strive to build a new status quo. So leave nothing unchallenged in your pursuit to raising the creative bar. Thank you. Thank Resh. you. Thank you, Resh. Thank you very, very much. Extremely inspirational words. Just v- one very quick question. Do you expect people to fall on their swords, the, the, the leadership of the old guard? Do you think that they will do that? No, so of course w- they won't. Right. So it the should ne- have been ages ago. So the next step is... So what is, do we do? Right? Yeah, what do we do? Yeah, so we've got to what all look at that question. That's a, that's a collective yeah. question. Yeah. It's a collective. It, it is all of us. We all have to come together. That's right. Absolutely. And and unless we 
come together and have these conversations. And it's okay to ask the difficult questions unless we look at our leadership and say, where are, where are we providing the opportunities? Why are people leaving certain agencies and droves? Where are they going? Okay. Because the talent is out there. Yes. Stop saying it's not out there. It is. Female leadership is, is. out there. Well, I, I mean, you're looking, at, you're looking at someone who's been in this game for 35 years next year. So we are exactly. here. You know, we are here. But it's great to hear your voice. Wonderful and inspiring words. Let's now take those actions that you so uh, critically Absolutely. we have to do. Great to meet you. Great to and hear you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Amazing.